Hi, I'm Tanner with TransWest Truck Trailer RV here in Frederick, Colorado. Today we're going to go over one of our used inventory units. This is a 2015 Cimarron North Star, four horse living quarters. It's got a 12 foot short wall, 30 foot on the floor. It's pretty standard for a living quarter size. It's eight wide, seven, seven tall. We'll start, we're kind of walking around the outside of this trailer, tell you some cool features that are kind of added onto this trailer, and then we'll come back through and show you guys the house side of it. You notice to start kind of things off, there is a fold down step right here. These kind of became standard over the past couple of years. It's real handy, you don't have to make that big jump up into your LQ. Also, it's not like a cheap little fold down RV step. It's welded on there, it's solid. Nice little step. Here on the outside, you do have two 120 outlets. It's nice to be able to carry like a barbecue grill going down the road. That way you can just set it right here underneath this awning. Like a day like today, it's kind of sunny. Keep you shaded up. You can grill, cook. You can eat inside, eat outside. It kind of adds to a little bit of variety to what you can do with this trailer. There's just a little slide and bus window right here. That's kind of sets over the sink area in your living quarters area. So you can see out, see what's going on. Maybe check on your horses if they're standing out here tied. One thing I want to point out is, I mean, this trailer, it is used, but it's in great condition. One of the only things you'll notice is there's some stickers on it. I mean, there's some few dents and dings, but there are some decals that have been peeled off, and you can kind of see the remainder of them left. We do have a six-inch awning light right here. Again, just kind of give you some light out here. If you were to be grilling or something during the night, you have your vent, and it does have indoor, outdoor speakers. They can be switched to run indoor, outdoor, or both at the same time. So again, you're grilling or hanging out out here, saddling horses, maybe trying to get pumped up for a rodeo or play some music or you're brushing cattle or something for a show or something like that. Listen to music, you can grill. You have a lot of options to hang out out here underneath this awning and stay comfortable. You got two spotlights out here. Again, one right here by the LQ and kind of down at the other end of your awning. Again, just giving you more light. You feel like you're going down the road. You're going to be hanging out quite a bit. I think that's a cool feature of this trailer is they really focused on this outdoor space. Most of the time you just get like outdoor speakers and an awning with this. You got lights everywhere, you got spotlights. Really focus on hanging out outside with this trailer. Above me is a 16 foot manual awning. It's nice to have that awning again. You can run it up, down, give yourself some shade. Get out of the rain maybe if it's storming, but you don't want to be confined inside your living quarters area. Right here, you'll see it's hanging. This is just your strap for your awning. Coming down tail side, you'll notice up at the top, it does have a hay pod. Coming down from that hay pod, there is a 16 inch awning light. Again, we like to keep it lit for your horses out here. If you're saddling or something in the dark, you want to be able to know what you're doing. That way you don't get in a bind, get hurt, get you or your horses hurt. It, it, it does have these safety ties. They just swing out and basically allow you to tie your horse kind of further out away from the trailer. It lets them move a little more while you got them tied out. You either love them or you hate them, but they're, I think they're pretty cool, but some people might not. So they can always fold up out of the way if that's something you're not interested in. It does have four sliding type bus windows just right here on the tail side. Below those bus windows, it does have four tie outs. This is actually a solar powered light right here. It's pretty cool, charge up during the day and then at night you don't have to run your lights outside. You can always peek out your door and have that light to be able to check on horses if you got them tied out staying somewhere overnight. Another cool feature on here is there are bucket hangers. I think that's really awesome. If you're graining horses or watering horses and you're just tying out overnight, hang your buckets there. You can water them, you can grain them, and then they're not bouncing around, scratching up on your trailer if you're just hanging them from your tie rings. This trailer is on two 8,000 pound Dexter rubber torsion axles. The cool thing about rubber torsion is they all kind of they work independently, so you can make a lot tighter turns than you normally would with spring axles, and it's a lot easier on your tires and you know your axles, and more so it's easier on your horses going down the road. Coming around the back side, you'll notice it does have one of these cool easy out ladders. The cool thing about these is normally when you come up a trailer, if you're trying to get stuff up or get stuff down, your ladder's normally stationary on your trailer. You got to climb straight up. The cool thing Cimarron did is they made it where your ladder can pull out and give you that angle, make it a little easier for you to get up there to your generator and both your hay pod. The generator up there, it is enclosed. It is an Onan 4000 generator. Run everything in this trailer. And right here behind your ladder is actually your fuel tank for that generator. So it's really easy to pull up to a pump. Fill your, fill your truck up at one pump, fill your generator at the other, and be able to go down the road for the weekend. Before I jump up in here, I want to point out that everywhere you see this, this is like a quarter inch 
rubber kick mat. The whole inside of your stall area is going to be done in this kick mat. What it does, it just keeps, forces are kicking. They're not tearing up your aluminum in there. It's going to always, if they do get tore up, it can be repaired real easy. It's not scratching. It's keeping this area real nice for your horses. And again, it's just keeping this trailer nice going down the road. So it adds a lot of resale value to this trailer as well. The floor on this trailer is fully aluminum. Consider it, you know, the industry's best floor. Most, most horse trailers you see, they're built on five, five and a half, six inch centers. Cimarron trailer is built on four inch centers. So whenever a horse is standing in here, no matter where they're standing, they're standing over a support beam. So again, this trailer is going to be super safe for your horses going down the road. Jump up in here. Just, just have a standard butt bar. But other than that, you'll notice again, there is that quarter inch kick mat wrapped all the way around this trailer. Coming down the tail side, those sliding type bus windows on the outside, they are projected by some gel bars here on the inside. Just keep you know, horses' tail heads from going through the windows and stuff like that. Just has a little more protection to keep your horses from knocking windows out. Up above, this trailer is upgraded to the Oppie Bright lights. These are really slick lights. We started doing them on a lot of trailers. They're a lot brighter than your standard LEDs you get, and they also they don't draw as much power. And it keeps it. I mean, they look pretty slick, and it keeps it lit up in here, so you can check on your horses going down the road, and you know what's going on. If you stop for fuel somewhere, you can always peek in a window, click a light on, and have more than enough light to see what's going on in here. The roof on Cimarron trailers, it is insulated. So what that does is, you know, on a cold day like today, it keeps it warmer in here for your horses. It's hot in the summer, it keeps it cooler in here for your horses. Another cool thing is, with this insulated roof, we get a lot of hail here in Colorado. And it'll also, I mean, it's very hail resistant. We can park a no steel or aluminum roof trailer next to this insulated trailer and let it hail. Aluminum trailer's gonna be all dinged up. This insulated roof, you won't be able to tell it even hailed. So it's a really slick roof. It's also bolt bowed, so it keeps all the water running off your roof or sitting up there and pulling at your seals and rotting away at your seals. So again, just keeping this trailer self-maintained going down the road versus you guys having to go up there and reseal the roof. That's a feature I think is really important to mention in a trailer like this. But come back up and show you guys the latches. Another cool thing I love about Cimarron trailers is this latch system. You'll notice that it's not a metal latch. A lot, it freaks a lot of people out that it's not a metal latch, like it could break easy or something like that. We've never had a problem with these plastic latches. And I actually like them better than metal latches because they're quieter and they also, they won't wear like metal on metal. Metal on metal over time tends to wear. You end up with the latch wearing or your, you know, your other, what would you call that, your mail to your latch wearing and then they don't, they get noisy, they come unhooked and stuff like that going down the road. So being able to have a plastic on metal keeps that wear to a minimum, it keeps the noise level to a minimum for your horses going down the road. Pin one open. This trailer does have a stud stall. I think the cool thing about stud stalls is no matter what, if you're hauling three horses down the road, you can always use that stud stall as a storage area, a mud room for your living quarters, or something like that. I think it's super nice to have a stud stall in here, whether it be a solid one like this or even a fold down. If you have a trailer that doesn't have a stud stall and you want to maybe entertain the idea of getting one, which I think is a great idea, you can go ahead and give us a call and we can see what it would do to get a stud stall in a trailer that you have or get a trailer ordered with a stud stall for you guys. But this tra trailer also has mangers. Cool thing about mangers is it gives you that storage on the outside, but it also gives you the feeding capabilities here on the inside. You're not having to worry about hang hay bags or anything like that. You can feed your horses right here, and then when you're done, if it gets dirty, you pretty much you can spray it with water and get to the drain at the other end and keep it real clean in here. There are two tie rings in each of these stalls for your horses too, so you can tie their head up out of the way. One of the main things people are concerned with about mangers is you lose a lot of space inside your trailer because you're losing that 18 inches right here, but if you think about it, a horse's chest is only going to come to here, so really all you're losing is that chest space, so their head is going to be up where it would normally be anyway, so you're really not... I mean, you're losing a little, but not as much as you'd normally think, just taking away 18 inches out of this trailer. It does have a walk-through door. We will actually run through this trailer. We'll go through the living quarters back out and around the head side. So the walk-through door, basically, like I said, you could use this as a mudroom right here. You can come in through your escape door. So I like about that is so you you know you rodeo you're showing you get dirty outside you jump up through your escape door you can take your clothes off right here and not have to worry about getting mud into your living quarters and you can just come right through your door. Another thing is 
a lot of times you don't have enough storage in your living quarters store all your stuff going down the road clothes tack hats stuff like that so you can always close that stud door and keep all your stuff right there and kind of keep it out of your horse's way too this is a 12 foot short wall again it is an outlaw conversion cool thing about this trailer is it is rvia certified so that just means it's built to code it's built to their standards it's not custom built and just thrown together this trailer is put together super well you get in a lot of trailers most of the time and you'll see, you'll notice it looks super nice on the inside like this one. And then you kind of start going down the road and pulling things apart. And the more you use it, the more you kind of notice it. On the outside, it looks great. But when you start peeling it back, the inside of the underneath all these cabins and stuff like that, it's put together, you know, subpar. The great thing about Outlaw is they really focus on building the complete product from the outside to the inside. This trailer is going to be top of the line. It does have an 8.0 fridge or 6.0 fridge. I apologize. It's got a lot of storage. I wonder if you can see with that camera. It's got storage here. You can hang your clothes. You'll notice there, there is a table. This, this trailer does have a couch. It's a cool thing about having this table. You can put it in the floor right in front of your couch and still have an eating area, a working area. Giving you kind of the best of, of both options right there. Here above your fridge is a TV. This TV does swivel and mount so you can watch it from the couch like it is right now. Or you can really simply unchain it and swivel it. You get a view from the other end of the couch or if you're sleeping on that couch, whatever it may be. Coming in here a little further, you do just have your microwave. You do have some storage in that microwave. Or right next to your microwave, not in your microwave. Below your microwave, you do have your two burner cooktop. You can cook stuff in here. You can use a microwave fan, vent it out and just keep it you know keep it as much like home in here as possible for you guys here's your sink the one thing cool thing i want to notice is this is not a plastic sink this is a full porcelain sink you don't see that a lot of times in you know campers trailers even horse trailers it's really nice to be able to have that porcelain which doesn't make a huge difference to some people but to some people if they're living in this going down the road they want to be able to do dishes in there and not worry about their plastic sink cracking or anything like that Below your burners, you do have some storage with all the remotes for your TVs, your radios, your satellites, stuff like that. So there's plenty of storage in this trailer. And you have some storage under the sink as well. Cool thing about this is look how easy this will be to winterize for you guys. It's right there out of the way. You're not pulling drawers up. You're not pulling cupboards out trying to get this thing winterized or get to your hot and cold water. And speaking about everything being built, way better from Outlaw. If you want to come take a look in here, notice how all your lines are marked red for hot, blue for cold. I mean, this trailer is put together super well. If you ever have a problem, you're not going to have a problem tracing wiring, tracing plumbing. If you have a problem, they're going to be able to find where it is and fix it without having to, you know, knock their heads together and figure out where it's actually wrong or what wire goes where. And I can kind of show you guys a little more of that up front when we get outside. Behind me here, it is a six foot fold out couch. Super nice going down the road. I mean, you can sleep one person here and two up there if you want. This couch also folds out. You can sleep here. Above the couch, you do have your AM, FM radio. And again, those toggles for your inside and outside speakers. Above that is actually a direct TV satellite dish. This is equipped with a satellite on the roof. Cool thing about using this going down the road. A lot of people, they worry, you know, you're paying for direct TV monthly like you are at home. But with a system like this, they have a system you can where you activate it. Whenever you come in here, if you turn your TV on and your satellite on, it just charges you for the day you're using it. So it kind of saves you money. You're not having to worry about, you know, keeping a subscription going and trying to use your trailer as much as possible to get out of your direct TV. There's some storage up top as well. And again, you'll notice there's a posted deal right there with all this trailer certifications. Like I talked about the RVIA, all the appliances in here are certified green. That just kind of gives you a list of what appliances are in here, what certifications this trailer does have. In this cabinet, there is your book. That book's going to cover everything in this trailer. It'll cover your appliances, your TV, anything that could go wrong in this trailer or needs service in this trailer will be in that book to help you kind of, you could read it and learn your system more efficiently. If you have someone working on it, they could also read that and be able to go through this trailer relatively easy. Here is more storage area. 
again, I can't stress enough how much storage area you're going to need going down the road. It always seems like you want to upgrade your trailer and buy a new trailer. And you think, man, I'm never going to use all the storage in here. And then there you are a year later, needing more storage, more areas. So this trailer, for a non-slide-out trailer, it has a lot of storage options, which I think is great. The other thing you guys probably noticed is we didn't walk through a bathroom to get up into here. This trailer does have, here, I'll let you go by me first. You might not be able to get in that door. This trailer does have a front bath. It's super unique for a trailer. The cool thing I like about it is having that bathroom up front. You wouldn't think so. But it just makes it so much more roomy in here, especially for it being a non-slide out trailer. For some reason, putting the front bath up here in the front makes your, you know, your couch and living area seem a lot bigger and feel a lot bigger. And it's also super easy to when you're going down the road, you're able to come from the outside right into your bathroom. If you need to use the bathroom on the side of the road, you're not having to you know, fight through stuff to get to the back of your trailer. Right there, it is a vanity with some storage. There is some lights. You do have this really nice 34 inch shower. You'll notice that there isn't a shower, uh, what do you call that, a shower uh, faucet or whatever. It is on the ground because this trailer is winterized, so don't think it's not coming with the faucet. It is on the ground, just put it down there, you know, for it's not cracking over the winter and getting water in it and stuff like that. Here behind, here I'll jump in here. Again, you just have plenty of storage, and this isn't just a face storage, it goes all the way back in here as well. You're getting a lot of storage going down the road. And again, more and more storage. You're gonna store all your bathroom stuff in here. You know, hats, clothes, socks, underwear, towels, everything you can think of. You tend to always think of more stuff and more stuff as you go down the road. The cool thing I wanna point out that I haven't mentioned yet is this trailer is ducted. So you don't have to worry about your central heat or AC coming just from one area trying to heat the whole trailer. It will run through the venting system in this trailer and heat and cool every part of this trailer through that system. Also, there is a fantastic fan right here. Pull air out of here, you know, if you're using the bathroom where it gets pretty steamy with the shower, you can turn that on and it pulls all the heat and all the steam out. Or you can turn it to where it pulls the air in here if it gets, you know, hot in here and you want to cool off. You can do that as well. Run out here real quick. Coming up to the nose portion of the trailer, you'll notice there's spotlights everywhere. But up here in the nose, it's really cool. It kind of keeps you secluded. It runs. It's got a door. Run up here. So you can shut yourself off up in here. Get away from, you know, kids, whatever you need to. You can kind of have your own little area in here if you're going somewhere and want to get away from your kids, something like that. But up here you do have a separate satellite system from the rest of the trailer. That way your kids can be watching TV down there and you can be up here watching something different. And again, it runs off that same direct TV, pay-as-you-go system. There's also a DVD player here and you get your own TV up here as well. And like I mentioned before, up above it is ducted up here as well. So everything will be heated and cooled from that main system and run through the whole trailer. You never have to, you never have to worry about being super hot down there, super cold up here. It's all going to level out and be pretty even. You do have two power outlets right here cool thing I like about having them power outlets is you can charge your phone laying up here but also as well above them power outlets there are speaker switches here so you can turn on turn and turn on and off your speakers from right here in bed you don't have to worry about getting up and turning the speakers off your switches are right there for them you do have some bulkhead storage right here I want to store some blankets maybe some extra pillows and just keep them right there at your head you do have some spotlights right here that way you can, if you want to read up here or something, we just give you guys the option. You're going to be locked in here. It's kind of homey. It has a little bit of feng shui up here for you guys. But again, this is a really slick trailer. I think it's set up super nice, both the living space and the outside. Down there. Again, talking about storage. They thought of every single idea to add storage here. Even the steps up in the bedroom have storage on it. I mean, you're going to need and use all this storage going down the road, and this trailer is a great option for you guys. If you need some more storage, but are thinking you don't want a trailer, you know, with the slide out, stuff like that, this is a great setup interior for someone like that. And we will jump out and go around the head side of the trailer, or actually, we'll go through this way, switch things up a little bit. So like I said, it's super easy. You can come out of there and change and even jump out this escape door as well.
Once you come on the outside of this trailer, first thing you'll notice is this huge closet tack. A lot of times you see a closet tack on a trailer like this, and it's just a small little closet. This is a 42 inch door. It's a really nice closet tack. You do have bridle storage, you do have a brush tray, you got your four tier saddle rack and some bridle hooks. The cool thing I like about this being an extra tall saddle or an extra tall closet tack is you have room underneath here. You can put totes under there to store your stuff. You can slide blankets under there, whatever you need. This is more than enough room in a closet tack. Another cool thing about being a solid closet tack and not a folding rear like you typically see in some living quarters is that you're not going to get the urine runoff from your horses running underneath here, getting your, you know, your pads, your blankets, stuff like that wet going down the road. This is completely sealed off from the horse compartment of your trailer. So your stuff's going to stay a lot cleaner in here. It's not going to get dusty, dirty, wet, stuff like that. But everywhere you'll notice that we have bridle hooks, we went ahead and carpeted the back side of this. That way your bridles aren't rubbing on your, you know, your painted aluminum, stuff like that. It's keeping everything looking nice and even your bridle hooks in here is carpeted behind there. Go this way. I'll just close this. This trailer does have mangers like I talked about on the inside, giving you that feeding ability on the inside also gives you the storage ability on the outside. Again, you're storing, you know, buckets, grain, stuff like that going down the road. It's a great place to get that feed, grain, buckets and stuff out of the way, out of the weather. That way you're not worried about your grain getting wet and stuff going down the road. Or storing lawn chairs or that barbecue grill like I talked about underneath that awning. This gives you the option to store that stuff out of the weather. Another thing I want to point out while I got you up close is you'll notice all the hinges on these trailers will be greasable. They all have grease certs. I think that's super cool. I've run into a bunch of trailers. You get squeaky levers, squeaky handles, squeaky windows. The only way to do them is to like drill your own grease cirques or take the windows completely off, WD-40 and stuff like that. But this gives you the option to walk right up, hook a grease gun up and grease all these windows and doors to keep them operating, you know, to how you'd want them to operate and not having to go to your dealer to get them to fix sticky windows for you guys. Cool thing I like about Cimarron windows is they're extra, extra big and they're extra sturdy. I mean, you can yank on these windows and they're not going to move. But they're super easy to operate. They latch just like that. You can run them down the road like that super easy. The other thing I like is it's got these really simple to use fold down gel bars. I can't stress enough going down the road how much we want to keep you guys out of, you know, getting in a bind with your horses, getting hurt going down the road. And the cool thing about these windows and the tie rings up high is it gives you the option to load your horse, tie them from the outside, and then when you get to where you're going, untie them from out here before you open your back door and they're trying to back out over the top of you. But they're, again, they're super easy to use. Cool thing I like is even on your escape door, there's a drop down window. Typically right here on most trailers, you just see a smaller bus sliding type window, which that window will slide right there, but it does have its own little drop down, which again, I think it's super important to think about how much air you're gonna be able to get rolling through your horses. A lot of the times in a rig like this, you're down the road, you know, five, six months out of the year, it's hot during summertime, and you wanna be able to keep your horses comfortable and cool going down the road as possible. And having that extra drop down window might not seem like a whole lot, but it's just that much more air that you can get to your horses. Right here is just your big window. This is your large window that you'll see behind your couch in there in your living area again. If you're living in this, not only your horses are going down the road five, six months out of the year, but so are you. So having that big window, it just gives you that option, you know, have that much natural light in there and be able to look out and kind of see what's going on as well. You can also, if you turn your head just right, if you do have horses tied out here, you can see them from the, that window. That way you're not having to go out and check on horses in the middle of the night. You can see them from that window, which I think is super important. You'll notice again, there is just kind of some, like I said earlier, there is some decals that kind of got peeled off. I mean, it's priced accordingly. We know that a lot of people are not going to want to see someone's old decals on here. So we've took that into account. We priced this trailer. But I mean, going around it, you've noticed that, I mean, we've kind of pointed out some stuff. There's really nothing majorly wrong with this trailer. Some scratch, some dings, some decals. But other than that, you're getting, you know, a top of the line Cimarron Outlaw conversion trailer. That's 2015. I mean, it's a great little trailer. Here, I'm gonna, before we finish her off, I wanna start out, finish off by going out, showing you guys what I was talking about earlier. 
I can tell you guys all day that Cimarron is the best trailer, but without actually showing you guys why, it doesn't really do me much justice. But if you'll take a look up in here, every single wire is color coded and marked what that wire goes to. That way, if you have something wrong with this trailer, you're not trying to figure out, oh man, how do I get to the house batteries? How do I get to the you know, tail lights and stuff like that? These will be marked everywhere so you know exactly where that wire goes and how to fix what problem you're having. So again, that's just why I consider Cimarron, Cimarron one of the best trailers out there. Right here, you do have two propane tanks as well as your hydraulic jack. It's real slick. I mean, you wouldn't want a manual jack up this trailer. So yeah, it's got a hydraulic jack, which is real handy. The cool thing about this is if you have a trailer at home or you're thinking about ordering one, we can always order a hydraulic jack and put it on the trailer for you guys. I think it's super simple. I want an order trailer without one. Yeah. Up here at the nose, we're hooked onto a truck actually that Larry did right before I did this trailer. So if you are looking at this video and think the truck's cool, go ahead and call us and ask about the truck too. But up here it does have upgraded coupler. It's not just your standard drop lever. It is a coupler you can run a little easier from the outside of the bed of a truck. And your safety chain and breakaway brakes. It's your standard, you know, nose coupler there. Up at the front. You might have to go around and catch stock number. We'll do a little pan of the whole unit. You can get a view of the trailer again. And again, that truck, if you want to check it out. And we'll finish off. We'll get you guys a stock number up there. So again, I'm doing a video on the trailer, but if you'll just look how clean that this rig looks, looks hooked up. You know, the white trailer with the white truck looks really slick, or even if you had a, you know, a pickup hooked up on this trailer, you have no problem pulling this to the pickup as well. I know we have it hooked on a big hauler, but that doesn't mean you need a big hauler to pull it. But if you're interested in this trailer, Again, it's a 2015 Cimarron Northstar four horse living quarters. It's 12 foot short roll. It's got that really slick front bathroom setup. Stock number for this unit is 5U201377. If you have any questions about this unit, maybe some other used units we got in, or again, if you want to give Larry a call on the truck that we just panned around to, feel free to give us a call at 303-684-3400. Thanks for tuning in. Happy holidays.